Welcome back, everybody. So it's September, and for a lot of us, it means football season. It means maybe we're thinking ahead to Halloween. But would you believe Laurie Easterlin is thinking ahead to April? She's already got masters on the mind, and that's because Laurie is a stager for real estate sales, and she is a pro when it comes to renting your house for the tournament. So this is great information, Laurie, for anyone who has never rented before. And if you, you are a veteran renter, maybe you're going to learn something, too, because there are things that you may not be doing that you should be doing. First of all, Laurie, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. So this is a great idea. You have a book that is out, so you are renting your house for the tournament. You can get this um, on your website, mm -hmm. and we'll show you the website in just a few minutes so that you'll find out how to get a hold of Laurie's book. You can get the books into your house, or you can download it for your e-reader. Um, Laurie, there are things that people are doing that may or may not work. As you say, it is not an overnight decision. It is not an overnight decision. And uh, I think some husbands in particular are leery of <clears throat> renting the house out and someone sleeping in their bed, but the check usually solves that. But as far <laughs> as getting ready, we start in January, and it really does take every single weekend and a good bit of evenings to get ready. You're earning the money. It's wonderful, but you are earning it. You're earning it. Mm -hmm. And even at this time of year, you say now is the time to start um, talking with different um, listing agents? Yes, now is the time to make sure that you've gotten all of your um, forms into our local agents and that's on the website if people are not clear who they're supposed to be uh, sending that to. But this is a beautiful time of the year in most cases. Your home looks beautiful um, and you can shoot gorgeous outdoor pictures and the lighting is beautiful it for is. indoor pictures. We've got your website right there on the screen right now so people can see stage to a tcom yes. So you have great information there about what to do. I was very interested to learn one of your tips you may need to check with your homeowner's insurance because you may not be covered when you're renting. That's true. Uh, we found out, luckily not the hard way, that uh, we did not know to call uh, State Farm, which happens to be ours, and get a rider because our house comes out of normal use and is a business. So it's important to really talk to your, um, your homeowner's uh, insurance agent to make sure that you don't need to pay a little bit extra, and ours is maybe $20, and then that covers you for when your renters are using your house and it really functions as a business. Yeah, as we were saying, talking earlier, $20 compared yes. to? Compared to losing your home. Yeah. <laughs> so not being covered. Right. That terrifying. Is, uh, very, very terrifying. Um, another thing that people need to really be careful about is um, things that can trip up a renter. Yes. And one of those would be strong odors strong in your odors. home. Yes. If you are, um, uh, if you cook often with, and maybe you fix international foods like curry, things with a really strong scent, or you fry, or perhaps you have dogs, you need to really be careful to stop that kind of cooking at the end of February. And it's a good idea to have a very honest friend walk your house about mid-March and to tell you truth does your house have any lingering scent and if so you can get a company and to do carpets and to do curtains and to do, take care of that um, you can find out so much about Laurie on her website stage to a t.com and Laurie the other thing too that I want to throw in real quickly is you do staging and I so do. when mm -hmm. if people are considering putting your house on the market you can come in and walk through and, and be that eye I can years ago we went to a real estate agent and they took us to homes but these days people are actually looking online at your house house like like when you date someone. Yeah. <laughs> and so you want to be sure that your house is coming through as as beautiful as it can be to get people to ask their realtor to take them to your to house. Your house. And the same mm -hmm. thing with masters. Pictures count. Great information, Laurie Easterlin. Thank you for being here. We've got all of Laurie's information on our website, wjbf.com. Just click the Jenny link. We'll be right back. When we come back, a Thompson